In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Taggle. So to get there, it's T-A-G-U-L dot com. And this is a word art uh, program. So it's very simple, very easy to use. It's free. So you would go here uh, to Taggle dot com. You can look at the gallery. Um, it's nice the way things are laid out. You can add words. You can put them into like images, um, different colors, and so on. Um, so I'm going to click on, so the first time you go here, you're going to have to click on sign up. Then once you have a thing, then you have to log in, but I'm going to click sign up. So if you already have an account, um, then you'll just click sign in. Um, I'm going to sign up with Google and click on my Spartan Docs. And it takes me in uh, with my Spartan Docs. I'll probably have to accept something the first time. So this is what it looks like. You're going to have to create your new word cloud, so you just click on this little red button right here. And it says, congratulations, you've created your first word cloud. Uh, you can manipulate these words here, and then you'll click on visualize. So anytime you make a change, then you'll just have to click visualize, and then these will be, this is what it'll look like. So I'm going to say hello. And size is one. We'll click visualize. And now the hello will be there and cloud will be there. So if I change cloud to hello there, visualize, again, anytime something changes, um, let me try that again. Hello there, I don't know why the cloud was in there. So hello and there. Um, if I wanted to add one more word, there, hi, you can use visualize and now you have Hello there, and do I see hi anywhere? Uh, no. Maybe you have to do it again, update a little bit. So we have hello there and hi for whatever reason. I don't know why you had to do that twice. So if you want lowercase, you can do all lowercase words. You can do all uppercase words. You can just do capital words. Um, so that's your choice. Color, uh, you can change like the hi to red. You can change this one to, let's say, like a little green, maybe this one to a blue. Maybe right there. Oh, select. 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 Okay. Click visualize, and now you have those three colors show up. Um, so that's nice. Shapes. So once you're done with putting in your words, you just have a random shape right now. You can click on shapes. And now you can have, if you click on this one, click visualize. Now you'll get the shape of a heart with all of those words. Which again, nice. So other options, there's clouds. Maybe this cloud right here, visualize. And now you have a cloud. And because I set these colors, that's why sometimes it's better to be random. Um, but because I set those colors, those were locked into place, and sometimes it doesn't go exactly with the image. So fonts next. So if you wanted something like a different font, and you just select a different font, click Visualize, and now you have um, something more artistic. Layout. You can have it go horizontal, you can have it go vertical, vertical and horizontal. We'll try that one. Crossing vertical and horizontal. And now you get words in, a, in different directions. Colors and animations. So notice when I go over a word, like it turns white right now. So rollover text is white, so let's say I want it rollover text to be like a pink. Now it's that pink. And then the rollover box text, maybe I wanted that to be yellow. There. Uh, animation, you can make it slower, faster. Speed of it. You can zoom, you can rotate. And then once you're ready, you can download and share it. Um, you can get the link to it here, or you can download standard quality for free. And once you get to these, it's a paid version. So I'm just going to download it standard quality. That's good enough for me. Click Save. Now I have that file. And here it is. 
So it doesn't do the animation once you download it, but the link would do the animation. But um, this is something that you can manipulate, you can turn in, you can do whatever with. So that's pretty much Taggle. And then once you're done, you can save changes and click OK. And we'll get out of here and we'll be done. So my clouds. And now that's saved for future reference. So right now it's private, but if you made it public and created the link, then other people could see it with just a link. So that's a quick overview of Taggle. So I hope this helped.